What is up, everyone? It is your man on fire mentor, David Mailer, coming to all of you live on this podcast where we are going to take a deep dive into the discussion of help. I'm stuck. I don't have clarity on my life and I don't know where to go from here. And this is a topic that is all too common for men. Yes, it's all too common. It's the old deer in the headlights. For those of you that don't necessarily know what that means, when you're driving in your car at night and there's a deer in the middle of the roads and the headlights shine on the deer, usually what ends up happening is the deer freezes. It's that fight, flight, or freeze response where it goes into freeze and it doesn't know what to do and it's stuck. And you know what happens next. Unfortunately, if you're not able to get out of the way, you end up inadvertently hitting the deer with your car. And this is what happens to so many of us in our life. We don't know where to go when we're stuck. We go into this fight or flight or freeze. We go into this place of vigilance. And when we're afraid to get it wrong, when we're afraid to fail, when we're afraid to make the wrong choice, we literally do nothing. And then we say, we're stuck. I'm stuck because there's no action being taken. There's no decisions being made. And without decisions being made and without actions being taken, of course you're stuck. Of course nothing is going to change. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten. Insanity, as we all know it, is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome. Knowing that you're doing that is called stupidity. And many of us, unfortunately, operate from this place. To be clear, I am not putting any man down. I'm here to build you guys up. I'm here to remind you of how amazing you are. I'm here to remind you of how phenomenal you are. I'm here to remind you of how extraordinary you are, how outstanding you are. Everything else is a lie. Everything else is a limiting belief. Everything else is a distortion. Everything else is an illusion. And everything else becomes a reason and a story and excuse as to why you can't, as opposed to a steadfast commitment backed by hunger to do whatever you have to do to head in the direction that you have to head in. So, so many men are floundering. I don't know what to do in my business. I don't really like what I do, but I'm good at what I do and it pays the bills and it keeps my kids in school and it puts a roof over our head, but it's not my greatest passion. It's not my true mission. It's not my true purpose or I've already achieved it all. I already have it all. I got the money. I got the kids. I got the house. I got the cars. I got the watches, the jewelry. I've taken the fancy vacations. Why aren't I happy? Where do I go from here? Now what? They sold me the big lie that if I did all these things, I'd be happy. Now what? I'm screwed. I don't know where to go from here. Or I've done all these things and, and somehow my wife is not happy. I've given her everything she ever wanted to get to have. Why isn't she happy? Why, why is she cold? Why is she standoffish or aloof or closed down? or passive aggressive, or doesn't talk to me? Why does she want me in a different bedroom or a different room in the house or on the couch when everything I've done was for her? What, what do I do? I'm stuck. Where do I go from here? Who could relate to this? Who could relate to this of not really having a clear vision for your life? Who could relate to this? Where the hell am I headed? Well, many of you must feel like you're on a boat a rudderless ship and you are either headed towards or you have already landed on Skull Island. You have landed on the island of how the hell did I get here? This is not the life that was designed by my soul. This is not the life that I thought I would be living. How did I end up here? Now I'm in shark infested waters and I don't know how to get the hell out of here. I don't know how to get the hell off this island. It even seems like my, my ship is up on the sand. How am I going to get it back in the, in the water? What am I going to do? This is what happens to us when you have a rudderless ship. One of the brothers that was just at our four-day immersion in California, up north on the ocean, it was so beautiful. He said he wanted to paint this painting of, seeing the pirates coming up the side of his ship and he could see their fingers and some of them trying to get on board. Guess what? Those pirates work for you guys. Those pirates are the pirates in your mind. 
It's that voice inside of your head that wants to destroy you, wants to ruin you, wants to take your life down, wants to destroy your marriage. They'll get you to hide at work, the one place you feel successful at, because when you come home, you don't feel that same level of success. You don't feel like a hero and a champion, but at least at work, I feel worthy enough. I feel like I'm something. Those pirates are out to get you. That voice in your head is out to lie to you and bring you down. Maybe you call it the ego. Maybe you call it the dark energy. Some of you have your own name for it. We call it the pirates in the man on fire world. So why do you feel so stuck? Where, where, where do I go from here? And part of the reason is you do not have clarity on where you're headed. Clarity. You have no direction. You have lost being the captain of your ship. Doesn't matter if you turn the wheel, you have no rudder. And now the pirates have jumped on board. There's a mutiny. They got inside your head. They took over your ship and they're taking your ass to Skull Island. What do I do about that? If you're listening to this, what the hell do I do about that? Well, number one, you have to have the courage to start dreaming again. You have to have the courage to start having a vision for your life. And you have to have clarity on your vision. When I ask men, what do you want for your life? Where do you see your life headed? It's unbelievable how most men can't answer that. But yet, when you get stuck in your life, you scratch your head wondering why. Well, because you never had a destination. It's a captain without coordinates. You don't get in a plane and just say, well, let's just see where it goes. Let's see how far the gas will take us. It's a captain of a ship, not plotting the longitude, latitude. That's where you end up on Skull Island. You must have a vision for your life, right? Somebody asks you, oh, after college, what do you want to do? I have no idea. Well, that's okay. But again, without a vision, you don't know what's going on. You don't know where you're headed. Maybe we say, yeah, you know, I want to go to college and, and maybe I want to get a good job and, you know, settle down, meet, meet my soulmate, and then we'll get married and we'll have some kids. That's not a vision. That's you just you know, saying what you're supposed to say because it's uh, the cultural norms. It's you, you just fitting in. If your dreams aren't scaring the shit out of you, they're not big enough. So as a little boy, we had these dreams. We had an imagination. And we were fearless. Absolutely fearless. We'd jump off of stuff, jump into stuff, pick stuff up, rats, snakes, you name it, bugs. No problem until somebody told you it's a problem. Until somebody started squashing your dreams, squashing your visions, squashing your imagination. So you stopped dreaming. You stopped having a vision for your life. You stopped having clarity for your life. So you just kind of go through the motions. It's going through the motions, just being one of those, you know, snakes where I could, uh, chameleons, I could just change my skin in every environment I'm in. I'll just fit into all the different social environments. I'll nod my head when I'm supposed to. I'll say moo when I'm supposed to. I'll be a good employer, I'll be a good boss, I'll be a good husband, I'll be a good father, I'll just fit right in. Where's your backbone? Where's your courage? Where's your conviction? Where's your certainty? Where are you putting the sword in the ground? Where are you declaring what you want from and out of life? Who are you and what do you want? Right, I'm bringing you the fire right now because I want you guys to feel this because you're floundering. Maybe some of you follow the rules like a good little boy, but you're waking up and you're like, who, who am I? I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know who I am. I don't even know who I am and what I want, what I enjoy, because my whole life I've been doing it for other people. Well, guess what? It starts with you having a vision. You must start to have a compelling vision for your life. What do you want as it relates to your marriage? What do you want as it relates to your health? How about we help you carve out a clear and compelling vision where you could articulate it with precision, with certainty. And what if you can step into and embody courage to go live into that vision? Because you're going to have blockages. You're going to have things that are in the way. You're going to have things that are stopping you. We all have blind spots. We all have sabotaging mechanisms in place. And most of you can't see what those are. You don't know what you don't know and you can't see what you can't see. And most of you are stubborn. Oh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Yeah, maybe you will in your 50s, 60s, or 70s. But how much time have you wasted when you could have compressed time? You could have asked for help. You could have been vulnerable enough to reach your hand out and say, can you help me? 
I don't want to waste another moment of my life. I don't want to waste another second, minute, hour, day, or year. Life is too precious. I was built for more than this, and I'm ready to start showing up as the real, congruent, authentic version of the masculine leader that I was born to be. Can you help me with that? And the answer is yes. But without a plan, there is no path. You need a plan. So we're here to help you guys unpack your vision for your life. So what do I mean by vision is, you know, some of you might say, well, you know, uh, what I want is I want to lose weight. Well, that's not a vision. That's you dreaming. I currently weigh 300 pounds and in six months, I'm going to get down to 200 pounds and then we can help you see, well, what's going to get in the way of that? Because that's a clear vision. What is stopping you from that? What are the sabotaging mechanisms that are in place? What's going to get you stuck? And once you can see what's going to get in the way, then we can help you develop a plan of how you're going to execute this. Well, part of that plan is going to be I got to get on the treadmill every day. Part of that plan is I got to walk three, four, five times a week and we'll help you understand the distance and how far do you have to go and what do you need to set the treadmill on and are you doing cardio training for your heart or are you doing training to lose weight? What are the foods that you can eat? What are the foods that you can't eat? Which ones go on the no way? Can I put this in my mouth list? And which are the ones that you must be eating that help burn fat and raise the core temperature of your body to be a thermogenic fat burning machine? Well, if you have a plan and you have a compelling enough vision and you're connected to why, well, why do you want that? Why do you want that? We'll help you discover why do you want that? Well, Maybe for some of you, the why will be so I could walk my daughter down the aisle and feel vibrant, healthy, and alive. And rather than be a hindrance to her, where I have to be in a wheelchair and I can't hold my own daughter's hand to walk her down the aisle to hand her off to her husband, I'm going to get in shape. And I'm going to honor her in this way. And I'm going to honor her soul and I'm going to honor my own soul by getting in shape. That's a big why. Most of you don't even have a big enough why. And if you don't have a big enough why, you're not going to have enough leverage to step into this vision. So what am I sharing with you guys today is most of us don't even have a vision for our life. Well, I, I don't want, I want to have more intimacy with my wife. I want to have less fighting. I want her to trust me. And yes, great. Why? Why do you want that? What's in the way of that? Where's your intimacy currently at? Scale of zero to 10. 10 is we're making love every day. Zero is we pass each other by in the house and we're both in our heads saying bad words about each other. Where are you at, right? If you don't know where you're at, if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. Like the person that says, I want to lose weight. You're not going to lose weight. Tell me exactly how many pounds you want to lose and by when. Okay, now we have something to work with. So most men simply don't have a vision and you wake up one day, you look in the mirror and you wonder, how did I end up here? How did I end up here? Why am I so stuck? And put simply, it's because you didn't have a vision. You weren't aware of the blind spots that were getting in the way. You're not aware of the patterns that are sabotaging you. You don't have a big enough understanding of why do you have those patterns? Why don't you have a compelling enough vision? And if you were to live into the vision, what's going to happen in your life? You need to discover this, guys. And then you need to have a very clear plan, a clear path of how are you going to get there? This vision that you have, you must start to design it for yourself. You get the paintbrush. You get to paint on the canvas whatever you want like this beautiful lion behind me. This all started as a blank canvas until it became a fine piece of art. You have to have a vision. You have to know that you're worth it, brother. You have to know that you deserve this life and you have to start believing in yourself. Everything else is a lie because I know what you're capable of. I know who you truly are. And I know the lies that we can sell ourselves on. And as men, we hide behind all these stories. I want you to see that change and transformation and growth is possible for you. It's possible for every man that I've ever met, but you gotta want it and you gotta know that you deserve it. For those of you that forgot, tune in to these podcasts. Make sure you're following me on the different social networks because I am here to wake men up. Come back into the remembrance of who the hell you are. Come back into alignment. Come back into living, into the fullness, into the glory of your potential. Gentlemen, it's with passion, power, and purpose to you rising into. It is your man on fire mentor, David Mailer. I love you guys so much. Please believe in yourselves. Know that you are extraordinary and you are phenomenal. And I'll see you soon.
So much love to you guys. Bye for now.